Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see what I received in this month's cloth and paper stationery subscription box and the pen inspiration box, please keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's that time of the month again. I just received my cloth and paper monthly subscription box. And I don't think I'm going to be renewing my subscription. So there won't be um, many videos in the next few months. I just need to cool down and use what I already have. Uh, because every month I c they come out with such good stuff and it's a lot of inserts and a lot of different materials So I think I'm just gonna cool it for a little bit and maybe resubscribe later on in the year But this will be my final box of the year of this subscription period So I hope you guys have been enjoying all those videos. I will be doing more planner videos soon uh, a lot of DIY stuff So stick around for that. Um, I've had a lot of requests for um, some of the things I make on Instagram which include um, sort of plastic inserts made from a hard plastic material so like bookmarks and all those stuff and how I make those things so all of those things will be coming soon I also am going to plan uh, out some videos for some other DIYs to use some of my existing uh, stationary goods to make additional new stuff so just creative ways to use things so those will be videos that will be coming soon but anyways let's get into this video let's see what I get in this month's cloth and paper subscription box okay so we have something new here this is a new sort of card insert which I really like the size of it because currently I'm using smaller planners but this one is just a nice little quote by Vincent van Gogh normality is a paved road it is comfortable to walk on but no flowers grow very cute hold on to your vision do what you want to be known for remember to breathe excellent very beautiful I feel like this would work really well in these types of size planner this is my Hobonichi weeks that I've been using lately and I feel like this would fit in well in this planner because of the size I can either paste this in an existing page or slip it in somewhere um, as kind of like a motivational quote reminder so that's really cute I'm gonna keep that maybe there very cute so I really like that that's a new thing um, this month they actually have a little description of what's inside with the description of it so I'm not gonna ruin it I'm gonna read this as I go uh, the description uh, but let's see oh this is the penspiration test sheet so anyways let's get into it more dots oh my god yes a weekly planner pad I love these things okay I'm getting excited already Ooh, and really really fun colors for the spring so this as you guys know if you guys watch my um, subscription box unboxings I usually do the swatches and the pen test at the very end of the video so stick around for that or you could just skip to that portion of the video if you guys are only um, interested in that so that would be reviewed at the very end but very cute in first impression wise I'm seeing a lot of colors I'm really excited Okay, so let's get into what's in the subscription box. So first off, I'm seeing our mauve dots. Very cute. I love this coloring. It's actually really to the theme of my nail polish, which is amazing. Um, I love when things are in sync. There's um, a lot of patterns in life, and this is just one of those moments where my nail polish matches my planner inserts. Really love that. I love this type of tone, this type of shade. Um, and yeah, I just love it. I have a lot of the cotton dots and the other dotted stickers from previous subscription box that I've yet to use up but I really love them they're great accents they're a little bit transparent and also if you guys didn't know in um, these sticker packs they actually come in different shapes so depending on what kind of shapes you want you can um, adjust as needed so for example let me just take these out so you've got the corner ones, you've got the squares, you've got the hexagons and so forth so it's really nice because you can create legends and keys um, for your spreads and I love this color these these are definitely up my alley I love this type of tone in uh, coloring so very nice very cute I'll definitely be using these so additionally it comes with a cute little sticky note very nice color again it's going kind of with the theme of my own nail polish this was totally unplanned but really love that everything's coordinating and yeah I'm excited this is like a nice color for spring as well and it's not too loud it's not too neon it's just very classy very nice color so excited to use this as well uh, additionally oh my gosh this is so cute okay message importance low medium high very cute I love these things I have the paper pad right here from a previous um, 
subscription box. I actually have a lot of notes on them, so let me just flip to a new page. But I've been going through these like crazy. I love the shape and size of these memo pads. They're portable, they're easy to use. I just have them around me all the time whenever I have calls and stuff. I'm like scribbling notes. It's just a habit of mine. And it's great because it's disposable, it's easy. The paper quality is like a decent quality, but it's not like super nice quality, so you're afraid to use it. Um, same with this. I love this kind of like shape and size. Love it. It's something that I definitely will use. I don't really care that it says message or whatever. Um, I'm just going to be using it as a notepad anyway. So really, really cute. Uh, the styling of it, everything is really cute as well. Very simple, chic, and minimal. Love it. Right, I actually filmed a video for last month, uh, a subscription box, but I never got to editing and uploading it. I might backtrack and re-upload that, but I don't think anybody's going to watch because you guys have already seen what's in the subscription box. But as I mentioned in that video, uh, I switched my planner size to the mini happy planner size just because I've been really, really into using my mini happy planner in this agenda. This agenda is the Miu Miu Matali's um, agenda. I have a full video on that. I'll link it down below. And the way I've been using this and the way I set it up is using a mini happy planner setup and it fits perfectly in here this is actually a document clutch so it's not meant to be a planner it's supposed to be a clutch bag but I just use it as if it was a planner it comes with all these pockets and whatnot there's a detailed uh, video on that um, in, in my on my channel so you guys can check that out for details Oh, sorry, my phone just rang, but um, there's a detailed video of that on my channel if you want to see. But I've just been really, really loving um, this setup lately. It's very nice size. It's not too big, not too small. And I also uh, recently created this insert on off of my Etsy shop. You can print it off, uh, download it, print it off yourself. I created this really cute strength um, design, graphic design with uh, the line at the back. I just really like it. It's just been my vibe lately. So yeah, I'm, I've, I've been in this agenda and I want it more inserts for it so I decided to switch my planner size to the mini happy planner size so that's what uh, I have right now in this month's subscription box and yeah so let's get into it so first thing I'm seeing is recommendations really cute inserts to watch to read to listen to make this is actually a really cute concept um, this is good and I feel like it's very vibey with the times and what's really lovely about the cloth and paper subscription box is I feel like um, Ashley always like kind of complements each box with what is going on in the world. So everybody is staying at home lately. People are looking for things to watch, looking things for things to read with all the spare time and extra time in the house. Um, so this is really kind of reflective of that. So I love that about the cloth and paper subscription box. It's very like conscious of what's going on in society and she always makes types of inserts that kind of um, works off of uh, what's happening in the world because like a few months back it was like taxis bath did I say bath a few months back um, when it was like tax season she came out with like financial planning inserts um, start of the year lots of inspirational things so I really love that about the subscription box even though this is my last subscription of the year I really need to cool down and, and use what I have but that's just on a personal note but like all in all my experience with the box has been really great but anyways I, I love this this is really good I feel like I will use it especially during this quarantine season um, definitely looking for recommendations on things and with that said if you guys have any good recommendations for anything like to watch to read to listen to make please leave it down in my uh, comment section below I would love to hear what you guys would recommend uh, recently I've been enjoying that show called Hollywood on Netflix I really love like um, period for sort of films or period like time period uh, TV shows I also really love that show Outlander if you guys haven't seen that it's amazing um, but yeah I love those sorts of shows and Hollywood is just like another one that's like really exciting for me because I used to live in LA and a lot of the places that they mention and reference uh, such as the uh, Griff of Griff Griff I can't even pronounce Griffith observatory and all those places like I've been there before so it's like really exciting for me I love it and I love seeing LA in a lens of um, a different time period I think it takes place in like the 50s or whatever but anyways really cool so if you guys have any recommendations please leave it down below would love to add your recommendations onto my spread um, so really cute okay so the next thing is this right here I love these these are kind of like um, memo notes that kind of work as a bookmark as well this top tab actually sticks out a little bit above um, your insert I actually 
actually have this in a different colorway, I believe, in my existing planner. Let me see if there's any personal details. For example, this is how it looks like inside the planner. It sticks out slightly so you can write uh, whatever memo or note and then you can write the details down here. It just keeps everything nice and organized and it kind of doubles as a bookmark because it sticks out a little bit at the top if you see. Um, so I've been loving that. I keep one in per week just in case if I have any notes to jot down, but um, really, really nice. So this one is coming in a different colorway as you can see in my previous subscription box it was like a light sort of pinky warmer gray and now it's a cool tone gray so that's really nice nice to have in my collection let's move on okay this is interesting Ooh, this is really cute okay so this is the same concept kind of like a bookmark type of thing but it just doesn't stick out as much but it is kind of like an in-between weeks type of insert um, morning mindset number one what is the big picture for today Number two, who am I looking forward to seeing and talking to? Number three, what project will I work on today that I will be proud to be a part of? Number four, what healthy choices can I make for my body today? Number five, what value will I add to my colleagues or team today? Number six, what will I do if I am faced with a problem today? Very cute. I love this. This is so cute. I love the intention behind it and I love that it is printed on sort of a weighted, heavier acetate paper, I believe. Let me just open it up and show you guys. So yeah, it's a thick, it's a thicker paper. So this is like a thick sort of vellum acetate. It's like an in-between sort of transparency. It's not totally transparent. It's not shiny. It's a matte color and it's like a nice thick material. Very nice. This is really nice. I love the meaning behind this. It's a lot of like motivational slash positive intention setting type of thing, which I think is very important for the times as well, which is also again, as I mentioned previously, what I really love about the cloth and paper subscription box. Everything is tailored to what's going on um, at the moment in time and it's it just vibes really well. So I really love this. I'm going to put this right away in my agenda. Okay, so the next thing we have here is a dashboard. This is an inbox dashboard also made out of a thick sort of transparent material let's open it up and see I presume it's the same material yeah so it is the same sort of thick transparent material very nice these are very popular in the planner community if you guys are not familiar it's just kind of like a landing page of immediate tasks and things you can do and um, typically people like it in this kind of clear paper because in the back they like to layer it so you they either layer the items that they need to do or because of the material the softness of it they put post-it no notes of things to do so either like things you need to attach um, important dates or like um, emails you need to send mail you need to send things like that this is kind of like a landing page for that so this is really nice because I don't actually have one uh, for my mini ha mini happy planner size planner I don't have an inbox section and this will work very very nicely in the front of my planner so let's just put it in so I can show you guys so this would kind of typically be like a landing page and I can put sticky notes of things and tasks that I want to accomplish another way people use the inbox is I don't have it in this planner, but if you have task cards, like these types of task cards, um, shopping, laundry, nail appointment, salon appointment, me time, you can just put it here and then put your task card away. And when that kind of repetitive task has been finished, you can just remove it and put it back on your task card. So that's kind of how people use an inbox section and I'm really excited that this was also part of my subscription box. I don't have one in the mini happy planner size and yeah really really nice item. So let's move on. Okay final item I'm really excited for is this desk pad. I love kind of these weekly desk pads. It gives you the week that you can write in, the days you can write in, the setup and the style of these columns are very very reflective of some of their inserts. I have this kind of sort of weekly insert setup in my um, discount agenda as well for the weekly view. So let me just show you guys how that looks like in a horizontal sort of uh, version or setup. So this is how it typically looks like in a horizontal setup. I love this for seeing your week all at once. Um, this is very useful for planning projects and I used to use this as well when I was a student, these types of desk pads to plan out study schedule. So every day what um, what subject I need to revise or what projects I need to review and it's just really great to see your full spread with all your classes and your time management all laid out in one place. I love this and I feel like I will get a lot of use of this as well. So really really nice. It's a really nice big size as well. It's almost almost A4 I believe. It's just a little bit off of A4 um, and it's just a really nice simple 
minimalistic uh, planning tool. So really like that. So let's move okay, on. So now for the Penspiration box, it comes in this kind of plastic insert this month. And it comes with both the pencil case and also the pens themselves. So let me just put this piece of plastic away. And here it is. It comes with this really, really cute gray tone um, kind of envelope. Really nice. This seems like a nice bonus item. Typically, they come, all the pens come inside a plastic pouch, but I guess this month they probably had too many pens. I don't feel like this would uh, fit in here, but it's nice that they still kept this in the package so you can receive the item. So let's move on to the pens themselves and do a little pen test. The first pen we're going to look at is this green one right here. It says Shans color gel. So this is a gel pen. So it has the typical wax ball that I'm going to peel off with my nail and let's have a look. Oh, so this is actually in the color of the pen. It's a really nice opaque minty green. Very nice. Very, very nice color for the spring. It comes with this kind of like clip closure, which is nice because you can clip it on paper and stuff. And yeah, it's a really nice fresh minty green, really nice accent color. So let's move on to the next one. Let me peel off this wax. Okay, I can't really see the branding of this, but this is the other minty green looking pen. It is a Chinese brand pen. It comes with a nice, really squishy grip, which is really, really comfortable on the hands as well. So this one is like a black pen. It's a black pen and it's really, really nice. It is a ballpoint pen. And yeah, it's just very smooth. The ink is distributing really nice. It's nice and opaque rub test it dries really quickly so that's really nice i will be doing the highlighter test at the end of the video so just watch out for that to see about the smudgeability and everything but yeah overall this is a really nice smooth pen as well very standard um this one right here is called color free ink ruler so i'm assuming this is a ballpoint yes so this is a ballpoint pen and let's have a look okay it's in the same kind of purple color which is nice and it's yeah it's really smooth the ink distributes really well it seems to dry really quickly as well for the rub test and overall really nice pen i really like the color and i like the thin tip i have a preference for really fine point pens so i really like that and overall it's a nice pen it's a nice color but the only thing is the exterior feels a little bit on the cheap side so it's not like super luxe but quality wise and color wise this is a very nice pen so yeah let's move on Next thing we get, I love this. This is a really cute, sleek design of a pen. I believe this came in different colors in previous subscription box. I think I have a red one, a blue one, and a green one. Um, the outside is like coated with this like plastic sort of velvety coating, kind of similar if you guys ever use like NARS Cosmetics, that um, the eyeshadow packaging, it's kind of like that. It's like a coated plastic. So really nice. I love the design. Everything is one tone. There is a wax ball on it as well. I'm just gonna peel it off. And let's try it. Okay, so this is like a thicker, thicker pen. It's 0.5 mm. And yeah, it's just nice. It doesn't feel scratchy at all. It's, it flows really nicely as well. Let's just do the smudge test. It doesn't smudge either, so good for left-hand writers. Overall, decent pen. Love the design. Very cute and very chic. Final pen is this one right here. I love the feel of this. It feels expensive exterior-wise. It is the Smart Gel 0.7 um, pen. So it's a thicker nib peeling off the wax ball yeah it just feels really nice like a nice stationary item and let's just try it out okay it comes in the color of the actual pen which is really fun this is very spring and very happy a little bit different from the typical minimal monotone slash kind of neutral tones of pens that we get which i guess is nice because it's kind of reflective of the season of spring summer and yeah really nice pen overall as well so let's do the highlighter test so first one the green Okay, it doesn't smudge, so that's a good sign. Second one, um, there's a little bit of smudging. There is. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it dragged it a little bit, but it's not bad. So it is kind of good for planners and for highlighting. This one doesn't smudge at all. This one doesn't smudge at all. Pink one doesn't smudge at all. So overall, really good pens. Passed all the smudge tests, passed the um, highlighter test as well. This is just the typical 
uh, mild liner that I use for every single video. And yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this month's Penspiration box as well. Very nice items. Um, I love the colors and I love how all the pens run smoothly. The only pen that's like a little cheapy is this one right here, the fine point exterior wise, but overall with the color that it comes with and I love the fine point and, and how the ink dispenses. So that kind of like makes up for the cheap quality of the exterior. But other than that, all the other pens are really gorgeous. I love this with the clip. I love this with the kind of grip and the kind of sci-fi sci -fi styling. And then I love this one with the one tone everything exterior and the kind of plastic coating makes it really luxe as well. This one's also really nice. I love the clear and I love the grip. So overall, really strong box. Um, this month really happy with it excited to use all the items and yeah, so that's that that is everything That comes in this month's cloth and paper subscription box And this is my last box of the season But I will be resubscribing maybe later on in the year when I have more items to look into But that is basically all the items that I received for this month's cloth and paper subscription box I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos coming soon I will be doing more DIY videos and more tutorials and plan with me So if you guys are interested in that, please subscribe You can also check out my Etsy store for my new releases um, I have a lot of digital download printables that you can print yourself so you can get it fast right away You don't have to wait in the mail um, You can get things instantly just by purchasing and then downloading and printing yourself you could get this right now this is the mini happy planner size new cover that I designed I really love it it's really really chic and minimal but at the same time has a little flair because you can see a lion in the background but yeah that's that hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye